One of the most important functions to understand when using Chimera is selections. Under the Select menu, you can select parts of the protein according to chain ID, specific chemistries, residue type, and other structural features. What we have here is a hemoglobin structure with the PDB ID 2HHB. As you may know, hemoglobin contains iron ions. To locate these ions, we can select by chemistry. Under Select, Chemistry, Element, and Other, we can locate the iron, Fe. Now, each of the iron ions is encircled by a green halo. The fourth one is hidden behind the ribbon. Of course, Chimera allows for broader selections than this. To select an entire chain, we can select by chain. Now, the entire chain A is highlighted in green. We can play some tricks here such as selection inversion, which inverts the selection to everything except chain A. Normally, we will have the selection mode on replace. This means that if you select chain B, chain A becomes deselected. However, we can change the selection mode to append. Now, if we select chain A, both chains are selected. Before continuing further, we must first understand the small molecule data on rcsp.org. Scrolling down on the structure summary page of our entry, we eventually come to the small molecule section. This section provides a list of ligands that interact with the protein chains, but are not part of them. The ligands for this protein are heme and phosphate. The table provides helpful information such as which chains the molecules interact with and their abbreviations, which you will see in Chimera in a moment. In Chimera, these ligands are accessible under Select, Residue, and All Non-Standard. Here, we see the same abbreviations from rcsb.org, HEM for heme, and PO4 for phosphate. Chimera also includes water molecules as HOH. With this knowledge, we can now continue to explore selections in Chimera. Let's say you wanted to select the heme group bound to chain B. To do this, you would start by selecting under residue in the non-standard category, the heme. However, this selects all four heme groups in the structure. But we can solve this problem by intersecting the selection with a selection for chain B. Now, only the heme group associated with chain B is selected. Remember to reset the selection mode back to replace and clear the selection before proceeding further. Once you have made a selection in Chimera, you can perform actions upon that selection. Here, we have selected chain A. Under Actions, we can color this chain however we want. Notice that coloring can apply selectively, but defaults to all of the above. To selectively color the ribbons, we can choose this option and a color of choice. Now, notice that the atoms and bonds have retained their original coloration. But if we want to color those as well, we can choose this option and the desired color. You can also use actions in Chimera to toggle structural representation as well as coloration. Like before, I've used intersect to select the heme group associated with chain B. Under actions, atoms and bonds, we can toggle the representation. For example, choosing ball and stick will change the representation as shown here. If we want a more space-filling model, we can choose sphere. Now if you change the representation to stick, you'll notice that the heme group looks much as it did in the beginning, except the iron atom has sort of disappeared. However, remember that the selection mode is still on intersect. So, under chemistry, we can select the iron atom specifically. Now, under actions, 
we can change the depiction of this atom to sphere, and the heme group is restored to its exact original representation. Let's say you wanted to examine this same heme group close up, but the surrounding ribbon is kind of getting in your way. To solve this problem, you can start by selecting the entire chain B. Then, under Actions, you can choose Ribbon Hide. Now, only the heme group and some surrounding residues are shown. You can undo this operation by clicking Ribbon Show. Finally, it is also possible to delete parts of the structure entirely that are not relevant to your visualization. For example, let's say you wanted to delete all parts of this structure except the chain that we have previously colored. To do this, you would start by changing the selection mode to Append, and then selecting chains C and D. Now, under Actions, Atoms and Bonds, you can choose Delete leaving us only with the previously colored chain.